Hi everybody, this is Tash. This is take two, because I just started recording and I knocked, bumped the table and the camera just fell down and it was stupid. Hi, how did you all go with your Christmas and your New Year's and your holidays and everything? I had a fantastic time. I went on a cruise, as you might remember me talking about. Um, we left from Singapore, we went to Malaysia, a few ports in Malaysia, and then back to Singapore, then up to Vietnam, then we got off the ship in Vietnam, flew to Siem Reap, went to Angkor Wat, then flew to Chinookville, um, got off at Cambodia, then went to Thailand, rode elephants on Christmas Day. Ah, that's been my dream forever. Christmas Day as well, amazing. Um, and then went back to Singapore and then flew home last week, about a week ago. And now here I am at home. I've been stitching madly since I got home because I got nothing done on holiday. Of course, you never do, do you? You have great plans and then nothing gets done. Um, so I hope you guys had a good holiday too. I'm sure it wasn't as good as mine. Sorry, but there's no way. There's no way. It was so good. I had such a fun time. And um, so I could bore you with millions of photos because we have millions of photos. But I'm not going to. I'm going to share one thing with you. When we got to Vietnam, our first port was Nha Trang. And when we got there, we went to a silk embroidery factory. Um, it's called XQ Nha Trang. And it's a silk embroidery factory. And I put this post up on Stitch Mania on Facebook showing a lot of the um, um, their work that they do there and pictures of them actually doing the work. It's kind of like needle painting if you've ever seen that kind of embroidery. Um, but the work is so fine and really beautiful and unfortunately I couldn't buy any of the work but what I did buy was some of the silk they actually sell the silk they don't let you like choose colors but what I bought was they do like assorted silk like that I mean I don't know how well you can see this color it's absolutely beautiful these colors the silks are so fine like you can see how much hair there is coming off there. That's just the hair of the silk. It's amazing. These colors are incredible. And I bought three of these. They were about $10, $12 each, Australian dollars. Um, they came in a little bag like that, a little embroidered bag. Although I doubt this was embroidered there. And it certainly isn't embroidered in silk. Um, but yeah, that's what I got at the silk factory. I will link my Facebook post if I can do that. I'll link that below. Um, and I might actually even make an online library so you guys can go and look at it because it was so nice. The work was beautiful. I wish I could have bought a piece, um, but I, it would have been really hard to transport it back into the country. But anyway, the shop does have like a website and I'm sure you can buy things on the website if you're interested. I actually bought three of these little things um and they're all gorgeous and i'd hate to part with one but i might do one as a giveaway when i get to a certain number of subscribers i got so many comments and subscribers from my last video it was amazing thank you to everyone who commented um i had a couple of questions but i answered them in the comments next time i make a video i'll be a bit more organized and i'll shout out to some people who ask me questions and stuff thank you for your questions and your thumbs up and your subscriptions um i'm glad you enjoyed what i showed you that's great um, I watch all of your videos too. Um, I'm just not much of a commenter. So anyone who makes the effort to comment is really amazing. So thank you. Um, yeah, so when I get to some big number of subs, I don't know, 500 or something, I might do a giveaway, give one of those away and some other stuff. Yeah, so that's my trip. Um, you can probably tell I'm sick. I got the flu on the last few days of my trip. I nearly missed the elephant riding because I was isolated. Um, actually I got isolated the afternoon after elephant riding, but I should have been isolated a couple of days earlier. Yeah, I got influenza A. That was after being isolated a few days earlier for norovirus. And now I've come back home and I've got wicked hay fever and I think I've actually got another cold as well on top of the flu that I'm recovering from. So, oh my gosh, I always get sick when I go away. You know, some people are like that, especially me. <laughs> anyway, um, I will talk about the stitching I did, which on the holiday I did basically nothing like you I had these grand plans I thought oh we've got all these sea days on the ship and I'll be able to sit down at a bar and stitch and have have drinks and drink coffee and eat ice cream and I did all of that but I hardly did any stitching um so before I left 
I was planning to get a page finish on Princess Asleep and I did it before I left. Um, it was really close. I was like three hours from leaving for the airport and I did finish the page and there it is. I don't have the chart over here with me so I can't actually show you the finished picture at the moment. I had the worst time trying to edit my last video. I was putting in pictures and made an introduction and so on and then when I got about 15 minutes into the video I realized my audio and video was off sync so I was playing with the bit rates and so on and I just couldn't get it right and it was so frustrating so I just gave up and posted it unedited. Um, I'm gonna give it a much harder a much better try this time and I might actually get pictures to put in so I'll put in a picture of what it's going to look like when it's finished I hope. Someone on Facebook actually finished this and posted their pictures and it gave me so much motivation to finish this it's gorgeous it looks beautiful yeah um if i can find that person's post i'll put that in as well and credit who they are because i don't remember their name um yeah but i'm really pleased i got a page finish on that and i want to work on it again it's just that i've started two new full coverage pieces since i got back we'll get to that yeah i'm i'm really not clever like I've got this one that I want to finish and it's gorgeous and then I go and finish two more. So I can't finish any of them because I've got so many heaven and earth designs to do now. Or three of them, but three heaven and earth designs, one golden kite design and one gecko rouge design. I'm like a masochist or something. So before I made this video, because I'm going to talk about some plans for 2017 and I went through all my whips and I counted. But I have 27 whips and two UFOs. Um, I'm just gonna lock this. Okay, sorry about that. 27 whips, that's a lot. So my focus for 2017 is gonna be cutting down some of the whips by finishing them, not by chucking them out, hopefully. Um, so that's Princess Asleep. I haven't worked on her since I got back. I was just happy to finish the page. So I finished that with about three hours before I had to get on the plane. And then I had nothing to do for the next three hours. So I started this, the next Paddington Bear chart. Um, this is the Paddington Bear in Paris. Ta-da! Um, so cute! So this is the third chart out of the series of four. The other one I have to do is Sydney. And you know what? In 2017, by hook or by crook, I'll finish this and I'll finish Sydney. And I've got the four frames for these sitting up there, just simple black square frames about this big. And they will be finished, framed, and given to my nephew this year. They absolutely will. So, that's what I did. I also took this to my niece and nephew's house yesterday because I babysat them for about 14 hours. Um, and then I got about one and a half hours of stitching in that time. <laughs> you know what it's like with kids. They're five years old. Um... So I, the only thing I actually did manage to get done on the cruise was a little bit of the beautiful sea stitch along by the Ships Manor. Um, you can find that on the Ships Manor page or on their Facebook page. And I didn't get much done. I did sort of, I guess most, I guess I finished part one pretty much. Did a little bit of part two. Um, and here is my progress. The threads are so pretty. I'm really pleased with them. I really am happy with the background fabric I chose, which was 32 count desert sand. Um, yeah, it's super cute. I really like it. I will be stitching more of this. There are currently seven parts out or six parts or something, and I've only done one. Um, but I'll catch up and it'll be finished during the year. I'll finish this because all the parts will be out by then. See the threads, aren't they gorgeous? Wait a second. I ordered these threads about a month before I left and they got here about two days before I left. And I was so pleased because I wanted to stitch on this on the cruise. I thought the under the sea theme was a really nice theme to stitch when you're on a cruise ship. And it was. And it's just gorgeous. It's so pretty. So yeah, I'll work on this some more. Um, pretty soon, I think. Because yeah. I'd like to catch up so pretty so there's that one and that was all I did on the cruise when I got back from the cruise I had some mail um, uh, and I got 
a kit that I'd ordered last year. My boyfriend let me order it for Black Friday. It was kind of a Christmas present to myself. And it was, I'm jumping on the bandwagon with everybody else. I'm doing Game of Nouveau by Gecko Rouge. The artwork is by Medusa Dollmaker. And I haven't done much. I started her uh, about four days before the new year. Basically the day I got back, the day I got the kit. I started her off, see, look at all the threads. Wow, so many threads. So I started her, I've done over half a page. You can see the bottom of the page is just down there. So I've done more than half a page. And it's pretty much all just blue, which isn't very exciting. Um, but down here, we'll start to see a little bit of the banner coming across like that. I'd like to hope it, so doing one page isn't going to take me too long. I'd like this year to do maybe three pages, maybe four pages, um, but I'm not going to be too hard and fast on my goals for this. I really like it. Honestly, I'd love to just work on this nonstop until it's done. Um, but my focus for this year is to get some of my finishes out of the way. And as much as I love full coverage pieces, they look gorgeous. I have so many other things I want to stitch as well. And I could put all my time in these things, but I'm just not going to. There's my Princess Peach needle binder, which came from Gina's Unique Boutique. Um, that came in the mail when I got back as well, just in time to put on my Gamer Nouveau cross stitch. Yay! So that was probably a start I shouldn't have had, because far too many for coverage pieces as I already talked about but I did it because I have no discipline and then for my first of January on the first of January I had another start which was a heaven and earth design start and this was for the challenge um, which is to stitch a full page by March 1st or April 1st or something um, so the one I started is called Contessa with Squid I might have mentioned this last time and you are either going to love this one or hate this one, I think. It's a bit weird. But I obviously love it. I think it's amazing. I've seen artwork by this guy, Omar Rayan. And he's got another one where there's a girl, um, sort of the same sort of classical art style. A little girl in a beautiful white frilly dress holding onto her puppy dog. But her puppy dog is this grotesque beast, monster slobbering, slathering, sharp teeth. It's, they're just hilarious. It's so bizarre and weird. Um, but I love this. I adore it. And so I've made a start. I've done quite a lot on this. But pretty much all of it is just black. I don't know if that helps. Just black stitching. I am so sick of black. Um, and I have a lot more to go. So you can see I'm doing the first page up in that corner. And you can see a tiny little bit of a brown tentacle down here. And there's another bit of an orange tentacle that'll come in uh, here at the bottom of the page. So that's almost half a page progress there. And I'll work on this for the next... Uh, it'll probably take me two more weeks to finish the page because I go back to work on Monday. Um, but I'll work on it. Oh, my needle minders. Are they cute? This one is an octopus from the Etsy shop Stitch in Mad. This one is obviously Ursula from The Little Mermaid. And I got this from Gina's Unique Boutique. Yeah, they're super cute, right? So yeah, I will finish this page this year for sure, for the challenge. I'm already halfway through, so I don't think it'll be a problem to finish. I'd really love to do another page, just so I can see some of the tentacles come up, but I'm not going to hold myself to that this year, because I want to get away from my full coverage pieces a bit to achieve some more stuff. Some more finishes. Um, so... That's all of my stitching that I've done since my last video. A pitifully small amount, I know, but there you go. That's life when you go on holiday, nothing gets done. <laughs> um, I actually did get a lot of stash though, <laughs> since my last video. I showed you my silks that I got from Vietnam. I showed you some of my needle minders, I got more. I had an order from Gina's Unique Boutique, and I, because I'd bought some in the Black Friday sale. Um, so I showed you Princess Peach, and I showed you Ursula from The Little Mermaid. I also got the Cheshire Cat because I am mad on Alice in Wonderland. I, I, for some reason, I didn't get the, the Queen, the Red Queen. 
the Queen of Hearts. I don't know why. It's because I'm insane. It's because I'm stupid. I wish I had. I really wish I had now. She had a couple of Alice ones there as well, but I didn't love them, so I didn't get them. But I do love my Cheshire Cat, and I can't wait to be stitching something that this will work on. It's so cute! Um, and I got some more. Here's one of those tattooed Disney princesses. This is the Siren one, which is Little Mermaid. It just says Siren at the bottom. She's very cute. And I love this cameo skeleton. And this jeweled bee. They're so pretty. This jeweled bee I've seen, I saw in her shop months ago, and I added it to my wish list. Um, and I just couldn't justify, you know, buying one needle minder. And then I added lots to my cart to justify it. And then it was a, like $200. So when the sale came up, I thought I'll add that because it's so pretty. So there we go. There are my four needle. Actually, I got six because the other two are already on projects. Princess Peach and Ursula. Um, and I also ordered in Abby Bella Stitches Black Friday sale. And from her I got... A little Once Upon a Time book, a spooky ghost, spooky, um, a sugar skull, and a little weird owl. They were all like a dollar fifty each, so I really couldn't, I couldn't justify not spending the money to be honest. Um, and that one in the middle is a freebie she sent me, which is so cute. Thank you, Abby. I really love them. These are nice ones because they're they're small. I actually prefer smaller needle minders. All these ones, you know, they're huge, much bigger. I actually prefer smaller ones really, but um, yeah, they're very cute. I can't wait to also use all of these. I obviously need more whips so I can put more things on them. More, so I can use up all my needle minders. So that's those. What else did I get? Um, I got my Game of Nouveau chart little kit and I've already started it because I have no discipline. I got the threads for the Ships Manor stitch along which I've already showed you because I use them for the stitch along. Um, I got, oh when I got back from the cruise Lincraft had a 50% off everything sale. Can you believe it? 50% off everything. That is crazy. That doesn't happen in Australia. I've I've never heard of 50% off sale happening, which, so that brought DMC threads down to 56 cents Australian, um, which is a great deal. I've never paid so little for threads. So I went and I kitted up this one from Tessa with Squid. That was a lot of threads. I got almost all the threads, about 80 threads, um, and it cost me like $45. So cheap. I got this um, bead box. I can open it oh my god I just unwrapped it and threw away the instructions well instructions for a box right I wasn't worried oh there we go sorry that was a dip. there's a box with a lot of bead storage that's such a great idea right so I'm happy with that this came down to 12.50 I think that's good and I also got a lamp and the lamps weren't 50% off this is my little desk lamp that goes on the arm of the couch that I stitch on because I've been stitching on the couch lately because then I can watch the TV. Um, and it's got these two little caddies at the bottom that I put stuff in like spare needles and thread heaven and highlighters. And I usually leave the, the rest of the strands of thread I'm stitching on just hanging around there. And it's got four brightness settings and it's really great. And it wasn't on sale, but it was still only $40, I think, $45 something. So yeah, I'm really happy with those purchases. And then since I got back, I bought those. And the other thing I bought was I ordered on Etsy a DMC floss card because I want to compare some flosses for some of the things I'm working on. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so I can replace the flosses with DMC if I need to restitch. Um... The other thing I've been doing is looking at Fabric of the Month clubs because I really want to join one. I think that the weakest part of my stash is fabric. Um, I could pick up and start a lot of things. I've got all the DMC threads. I've got a, a ton of specialty threads and stuff. Um, but I don't have very much fabric. And that's something I want to improve on. So I'm looking for a Fabric of the Month club. So if you're in one that currently has vacancies, I know they're all sort of full. Sorry, I can't make any more fabric this month. Um, if you know of any that are good, can you let me know? Um, I'd like 
It would be great if there was an Australian one because I I'd like to save on postage, but I'll still get one from overseas because it'll still come once a month. It'll just be a month late, but that's fine. Um, so if you know of one, please let me know because I want to join one. Um, and that's that's all the stash I got. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to talk about my plans for this year for 2017. I want to focus on getting finishes because I just counted my whips. I have 27 or eight. It's too many, too many. Um, I don't stress about it too much, but the thing is there are a lot that could be finished off quite easily. So I'm going to show you the whips that I've got out that I've decided I want to finish or work on this year. Um, and I'll show you them. And this is a good way to show you quite a lot of my whips, I think, because I've got a lot. And I've got a long list here of ones I want to finish from here to here, basically. Um, and that might be a bit ambitious, but I'll show you anyway. It's good to have ambitious goals, and then if you don't meet them, you can try harder next year. <laughs> so my goals for this year is to finish a page on Contessa with Squid. I might finish two, we'll see. I want to finish three pages on Game of Nouveau. I want to finish the Beautiful Sea Stitch Along, which should be fine because it'll be finished in another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So 20 weeks. So about six months, the last part will come out. And so I should be able to finish that, no worries. The parts are nice and small, which is nice. I want to finish Paddington in Paris and Paddington in Sydney, which is the last one in the set. Um, oh, let's hope. Okay, so I also want to finish Firefly Fairies, which is this one by Lavender and Lace. Um, and basically what I have left to do is the third fairy and then all the metallics and beads. I'm not going to unroll it again to show you the whole thing. Um, I'm, I'm going to finish this this year. I want to finish this by April. This is my biggest goal for the year. This is the first thing, it won't be the first thing I finish, but if I don't get this done, I will chop off my right hand. I want this done this year. This has been in progress since 2004 maybe. I want it done. And I will give it to my niece, Charlie. <coughs> I showed her a picture of it yesterday um, and she said, oh, I don't like it. And she asked me to stitch her on my little pony thing instead. Um, but I'll give her that anyway. She'll like it when she sees it. Um, I want to finish something for my nephew Ben as well. These are for my nephew Lockie, the Paddington Bear ones. Firefly Fairies is going to be for Charlie. And for Ben, I'm going to finish off. This is my oldest whip. I started this in 1990. So it's 26 years old. I was seven years old when I started this. It's a kit from Janlin called Dream a Dream. I hope the glare isn't too bad on this because it's a glossy picture. Um, it's very cute. It's so cute. Um, and it will actually stitch up quite quickly. I'll show you what I have done so far on it. I think this is 14 count Ada. And I'm probably two thirds of the way through, maybe more. There is really not much left to do. And I <clears throat> would love to finish this because it's still cute. I actually started making this for my little brother when I was young. And it says, Jamie can catch loads. It's like a uh, dream a dream of grasshoppers, Jamie can catch loads. And I need to obviously unpick that and make it, change it to like, Ben can capture loads or something. Dream a dream of grasshoppers, Ben can capture loads. Yeah, that'll work. Um, so I need to, I want to finish this for him. I don't know if you can tell, but this Ada is absolutely filthy. It's disgusting. I made a counting error somewhere, like between these two verses or something. So I need to unpick that whole verse and fix it or something. I'm not sure what I did. But I think there's actually rust on the Ada here and here. So what I'm thinking is I might just restart this and restitch it because there's really not that much work in it, honestly. The problem I have with doing that is, because it's a Janlin chart, it doesn't have DMC colours in it. So I would need to match, 
match all these colors which is why I bought that DMC color card I ordered it on Etsy it's coming in the mail now it'll be here mid next month mid February so I can match all these DMC colors and probably restitch this 28 or 32 count linen as well because linen is much nicer I'm a linen stitcher not an native stitcher sorry um so I really want to finish this this year as well because it's really pretty and then I'll have done something for Ben all three of the kids will have something from me I showed Ben this yesterday as well he said he doesn't like it he wants Paw Patrol um, which is a bunch of dogs that are, there's like a fireman dog a policeman dog a lifeguard dog some I don't know I have never seen them I've just seen the pictures of them he loves them so he'll like this when he sees it it's very cute that's my oldest whip and I'd be really happy to finish that that would be quite amazing um, something else I want to finish is I've done a lot of um, stitching that isn't strictly cross stitch I used to go to beating around the bush every two years which is um, if you've ever seen the inspirations magazine it's like an embroidery magazine definitely doesn't do just cross stitch it does um, cruel embroidery and wool embroidery and white work and uh, needle painting and all sorts of things and anyway I went to the beating around the bush conference in 2014 and started this no I started yes I started this one in 2014 I started the other one in 2012 this is Schwalm white work embroidery and here is what this is gonna be very hard for you to see probably because it's white on white the black stitching is the outline of how the flowers will look um, and the white stitching is the bits that are done and it's on 30 count 30 count Belgian fabric which apparently is the best for Schwalm our teacher was Deborah Love she came up with this chart here is a photo of what it will look like when it's done you know I don't know that I love the piece but I wanted to try some white work I also did a reticella class at the same time which was incredibly beautiful um, but I need to restart the piece because I messed it up um, it's really beautiful I love reticella I want to do more um, and that was Patricia Girolami who taught that um, next time I go I didn't go in 2016 but in 2018 I'll probably do a Christine Bishop white work class because she does a nice she I bought a sampler from her that has a sampling of different kinds of white work done some hard danger in the past and things like that so this is one that I'll finish this year because this stitched up in two days that much that I've done two days work so I'll finish that pretty easily I think it's very nice um, so that's the schwarm I will finish that this year I hope I don't know when I'll pick it up and start it that's the thing I need motivation to start this one Um, and then another embroidery one that I want to finish this year is this one's really small it's very cute this is a Susan O'Connor class this is cruel embroidery very fine silk cruel embroidery see there's a little pencil sketch behind of what it will look like um, the bits that you can see are the brown is like a stem stitch the green of this leaf I think that's a split stitch outlining the leaf and then you're supposed to fill it in with satin stitch like this or long and short stitch I should say and then the actual pansy and the flower are both done with long and short stitch and when it's finished it'll be finished into a little pinwheel like this sorry about the glare a little pinwheel like that so it'll be an easy finish off I might not actually FFO this this year but I'll finish the stitching on it as I was looking through all my whips I've got about four or five finishes that need to be FFO'd like they're just pin cushions or bags and things that need to be FFO'd but I'm not gonna put any of those on my list this year because I feel like I'm squashing in this house I don't have my stuff isn't set up nicely I can't access things easily so I'm not going to give myself the challenge of having to FFO at things because I, I don't have stuff around me 
to make that easy. 